Welcome to another Me vs Maths tutorial, the latest in our series on the sine rule and this one is about finding angles and more specifically obtuse angles and why we have to do something slightly different for this. You should already know how to find a normal angle if you like, an acute angle using the sine rule, maybe from our previous tutorial. We will again be using the alternative arrangement of the sine rule shown here as this is much easier to use when finding angles as we described in the previous tutorial. Right, let's get straight into an example. Notice immediately that we are explicitly told in the question that we are looking for an obtuse angle. That is an angle greater than 90 degrees. Right, our first step, as always, is to label up our sides and angles. As we only have one angle labelled here, I'm going to relabel the triangle using A's, B's and C's, like so. Identify our active sides and angles. In this case, we have no interest in the C's, so we'll eliminate that part from our rule. Let's substitute our values in. Just as in the previous tutorial in this series, we need to multiply by 17.3 as we're trying to move towards having that x on its own. Now we can calculate the result of everything on that left hand side, which will give us the value of sine x. So sine x is equal to 0.79525 and so on. To find x now, we'll use the inverse sine function. So x appears to be 52.7 degrees. Now we've got a problem. We know that x should be an obtuse angle greater than 90 degrees, and we've got an answer that's smaller than 90 degrees, an acute angle. The first thing to say is that your calculator is not broken and we haven't done anything wrong. What we need to do now is look in slightly more detail at this part of our answer. In a future tutorial we'll look in much more detail at the graph of the sine function or is it sometimes called the sine wave because surprise surprise it's shaped like a wave. At the end of the example we were just looking at we got to this point. We knew x was equal to inverse sine of 0.79525 or thought of another way sine x is equal to 0.79525. As we said in this graph y is equal to sine x that means we look on the y axis where it is 0.79525. And if we start to go across from this point until we hit our wave and then read off the x value at this point, we get 52.7. And remember, this was the answer to our question that we just arrived at. However, if we keep going across from 0.79525, you can see that we'll hit our curve again, giving another possible solution of 127.3, which you may notice is an obtuse angle and is actually the answer that we're looking for. That's a very brief background on why we have to do something different when looking for obtuse angles. As I say, we're not trying to investigate the graph of sine x here. So the last thing and the most important thing to notice is that 127.3 is equal to 180 minus 52.7. So to find an obtuse angle with the sine rule, all you have to do is subtract your acute answer from 180 degrees. Rewinding time a little, when we got our answer of 52.7, x is actually equal to 180 minus 52.7, giving our correct obtuse solution of 127.3 degrees. OK, one more example and we'll make it a quick one. We'll use the letters we've been provided with here as all three points or angles are labelled already. So side X is opposite angle X and side Y opposite Y, Z opposite Z. We're not using the X's at all. Let's substitute our values in. 
multiply by 1.41 to tell us what sine y is equal to. Use inverse sine to work out the value of angle y, which appears to be 80.3 degrees. As we know, it can't be this as our answer is acute and it should be obtuse. So to find the obtuse solution, we'll use what we've just learnt and subtract our 80.3 from 180 to give our final solution of 99.7 degrees, which is as we wanted it to be an obtuse angle. OK, now you know, hopefully, how to find both acute and obtuse angles using the sine rule. Next, we'll move on and start to look at the cosine rule. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to visit the website at meversusmath.com. Enjoy the rest of your day and bye for now.